Well, right now, some of Team USA's best athletes are getting ready for another day of competition. Team USA already leading the overall medal count, and athletes hope to carry that momentum into today's events. Anne-Marie Tiernan joins us live from Paris this morning. Anne-Marie, there's some concern, though, over the future of the triathlon due to water quality in the River Seine, so they canceled uh, a practice session yesterday. What's the latest now? Well, they're testing the water at 4 a.m. daily, and the latest test is out that the pollution levels are not acceptable. And so the competition is tomorrow. They weren't able to train in the river today, but hopefully because of the clear skies and the sun, they're hoping that the levels will be acceptable. If they're not, the rules do allow for that triathlon and rather to be a duathlon. So rather than run, bike, swim, they would run and bike. So you know that there's a whole strategy strategy for that for the athletes maybe swimming is not your strongest area and then you might be hoping for that but this is something that's underway right now the rain is what they're saying we had it really heavy here for two days and they say that's what stirred up the water and and led to this situation so that's something we're monitoring skateboarding was delayed that's resuming today there was also some tennis matches that were delayed also resuming today a beautiful day in Paris for the competition to continue also a really big day Day in the pool. Well, we should ask after your first weekend in Paris, how, what was your highlight? Uh, you know, <laughs> I was really kind of captured by that fencing match yesterday. You know, it was all Team USA in the final. I don't know anything about fencing, but the venue was really cool. It was interesting to learn about this sport. I was able to check out the mask and see what that's like, the view that the fencers have. Lee Kiefer got gold in that. That's a back-to-back -back gold. Looked into her a little bit. She's really interesting. She, she was born in Cleveland. She went to Notre Dame. She's in med school in Kentucky. Wow. She's married to a fencer as well, and he's an Olympian. They are overachievers. So I was like, I don't know if I'm more of a fan of fencing now or just Lee Kiefer. <laughs> She's so <laughs> impressive. You know, and her dad, I, mean, I, went, I went deep on Lee Kiefer, okay? Her dad was the captain of the fencing team at Duke. Her brother and sisters are OBGYNs in med school. Her dad's a neurosurgeon. These are A-plus wow. people, and I'm just in awe. Yeah, so I think that, that's true. That's what you really captured my attention. You give her social security number over TV. You cannot give her social security number. I will not let you do that. No. Uh, but honestly, yes. that, that's the best thing about the Thank Olympics. You, ben. you learn about these people that you didn't know anything about and these sports you do. And it, that's part of the best thing. And it makes it more emotional, too, yeah. when they, when, if and when they capture that goal. That's right. That's right. All right, Anne Marie, thank you so much. We'll check in with you later. Yes, absolutely. Yeah.